Thanks for joining us here. I'm Tony Lopez. We start with breaking news. Lots of moving parts with this show tonight. We want to get straight to some breaking off the top here happening right now in South Sacramento County, a homicide investigation with a man possibly barricaded. Let's show you where this is happening. All started around 240 on Alta Mesa Road out in the country outside of Galt. That's where Hunter Sowards is live. We understand the live shot can be kind of glitchy sometimes, but we can see you nice and clear. Hunter, get us up to speed. Well, Tony, it's been a lot of hurry up and waiting. We just watched within the last 30 seconds some of those personnel that have been out here all afternoon leave the scene. Uh, we've got Wilton Fire as well as, of course, SWAT, though, still out here as well as the Sacramento Sheriff's Office. I want you to see, though, it's getting dark, but there is still an active investigation right now. And we want to really stress that this is a possible barricaded subject. And let's talk through why it's a possible barricaded subject. We know that the woman who was found dead outside of the home here in this very rural part of Galt, her son is unaccounted for. They have not been able to contact him. You're looking at some video here from up above, from Drone 13 flying over this afternoon. Again, this is when they were trying to zero in on where that uh, individual could possibly be. At this point, they've given us no indication that they um, have found him. Obviously, they're still out here and actively searching. We're hearing those helicopters up above as well. But this is something that is impacting, uh, of course, this community. A number of law enforcement officers are coming in out of the zone right now. We don't know the uh, identity of that woman, but SWAT, we can say, is still out here. We've heard some of those uh, flashbangs and other measures trying to potentially draw that suspect, possible suspect, out into the open. But, Tony, again, also important to note, the only reason they're calling him a suspect right now is because they have not been able to contact him. Everybody else in the family they have been in touch with, and his truck was seen outside of this home. Again, another reason why they have reason to believe he is here and they are going to continue searching for him until they know otherwise. All right, hopefully it ends peacefully. Hunter, thanks for the update.